Now, we will discuss here about the calculation of velocity and speed from the graph. See it is very important topic and you have to concentrate on this part because it is a graphical relationship. So, now as we have done for x t graph that is called distance time graph, distance time graph for uniform motion. It was like this here, here I took time and here I have taken distance. This is 0 point. Graph I have told it was a straight line. Now, if you want to calculate speed from this graph, we can say speed and velocity because I have considered a straight line motion here. So, we can take any two points. Suppose corresponding point for this is time is t1 and for here time is t2 and the distance for this is x1 and the distance for this is x2. So, for time t1 distance is x1 for time t2 distance is x2. Now, what you do? You just draw this line here. You will be getting this one is t2 minus t1 and we can take this is A, this is B and this is C and this B C is whole is a x2 and this is x1. So, we can write x2 minus x1. So, now here is speed is equal to is speed in time interval t2 and t1. So, we can write x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1. We can write it here B C upon A B. This we can say slope of distance time graph. So, slope of distance time graph represent speed. If the body is in a straight line, then it also can be said to be equal to velocity. So, see here x 2 minus x 1 and t 2 minus t 1 here just we have taken distance upon velocity we can say this one. This is the distance traveled in t 1 to t 2 seconds. Now, we can also write this is angle is theta. So, this also angle is theta here we can take since these two are parallel li lines. So, this theta is also equal. So, here by calculating the slope you can calculate speed of the body and velocity of the body. Now, we will do by taking examples how do we calculate a speed and velocity from the given graph. Now, we will do velocity time graph for uniform motion. velocity time graph for uniform motion. See here we take x and y axis, this is x axis, this is y axis. Here we take time, this is called time axis, this is origin and here we take velocity. Now, you know it in uniform motion velocity remains constant, velocity or speed you can say both remains constant. So, we can get graph like this. So, this graph represent velocity time graph for uniform motion. Now, from this graph you can calculate distance traveled by the body. Suppose you want to calculate distance traveled, so we can take this point, this is suppose t 2 and this we can take any point is here that time we can take it is t 1. We can give this is a, b, c and t. Now, here this velocity which is constant that is v here. So, now from this graph we can calculate distance traveled between the time a t 2 and t 1. Just by calculating area 
between velocity time graph with the time axis. So, you are calculating displacement or distance between T 1 and T 2. So, just you calculate area of this shaded portion. So, area of A B C D is equal to A B into A D that is actually a rectangle here. So, we can write A B is equal to velocity and A D we can write T 2 minus T 1. This gives magnitude of displacement. Now, if it was speed you can write distance also here. So, we can calculate distance or displacement by using velocity time graph. Now, we will do non-uniform motion. As we know non-uniform motion is that motion in which distance travelled by body is unequal in equal intervals of time. We have done this graph earlier like this, here we took time t, here is was distance and the graph was like this. This graph represent non-uniform motion, it means this is distance time graph for non-uniform motion. See here when body is traveling unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Suppose it is traveling more distances in the equal intervals of time every time distance is increasing. We can say body is accelerating, body has acceleration. So, when the body has acceleration, so we can draw velocity time graph for the body having uniform acceleration. So, now we will take uniform acceleration. So, velocity time graph for uniform acceleration, velocity time graph for uniform acceleration. Here I have taken in this axis here time, this is x axis, this is y axis we take here velocity. Now, graph is like this, this graph is straight line shows that there is a equal change in velocity in equal intervals of time. Now, from this velocity time graph, we can calculate acceleration. Suppose you have taken two points, one is here, this time is T 1, this time is T 2, this we can take A and B. Now, we join this, this is C. Here we can write B C is equal to, this is the velocity axis, so we can take this is V 2 and this we can take here V 1. So, here we can say B C is equal to V 2 minus V 1 and A C is equal to T 2 minus T 1. Now, we can calculate slope, slope of V T graph that means velocity time graph is equal to B C upon A C that is equal to V 2 minus V 1 upon T 2 minus T 1. We can say that is called acceleration. So, when the body has acceleration motion is actually non-uniform because distance travelled in equal intervals of time will be different. So, this is the velocity time graph for the non-uniform motion but it is a uniform acceleration, calculation of acceleration by using graph and this is actually slope of the graph and which I have found here in this triangle. You can take whole triangle also like this is here complete from here and you can calculate acceleration. Whatever time interval you will take acceleration will remain same. So, now we will see velocity time graph, here velocity is increasing but now we will do velocity time graph when the velocity is decreasing with the time. Now we will do velocity time graph when the velocity is decreasing. So, V t graph when velocity is 
decreasing we can draw like this here velocity here is time we can take like this here velocity is decreasing with the time now if you take like this graph this is velocity this is time here we can take graph like this like this like this in this way here velocity is increasing then decreasing then increasing then decreasing there is you can say non uniformly accelerated motion it is vt graph for non uniform acceleration actually when velocity time graph is not a straight line we can say that is a body has got non uniform acceleration now see another graph velocity time graph when body has initial velocity non zero see whatever we were doing till now everywhere initial velocity was zero now we will do velocity time graph when initial velocity is not zero that graph will be coming like this see here this is velocity this is time we can take like this see this is uniformly accelerated because this is a straight line but at the time zero origin it has some velocity we can say let it be u because we represent initial velocity is u and we take final velocity is v so we can take this is the final velocity so this is the velocity time graph when initial velocity of the body is not zero 